Hey, happy Wednesday. I was just sitting here painting my nails and it's a little after 10 o'clock at night and I'm sitting here like, there was something I was supposed to do. I know there was something I was supposed to do and I'm, you know, waiting for my nails to dry and I thought I was going to make a video for y'all. I actually was going to do one earlier today, but it didn't work out. So I worked all day and then my dad came over and we went, you know, we visited for a little bit. Then we went out to eat and we went in my son's new, new car. Oh, it's not new, but new to him. And, um, I still haven't driven it yet. I need to drive it sometime. Maybe I'll get in and go for a ride and take you with me or something. I don't know. <laughs> so it's actually, it rides smoother than my car. I'm kind of jealous to be honest. <laughs> I like it. Um, so uh, I have several things to tell you. What all do I have to tell you? Um, my older son got the job. He he went for an interview. Well, I think I was telling you last week. Anyway, he did find out he got the job. He starts in June. It's not he's not starting right away, but um, he starts in June. It's very exciting. I'm very happy for him. Um, you know, obviously I'm not going to tell you where or you know anything like that. I try not to. I have enough of my own personal shit out on the internet. I don't need to drag my kids into it. Um, but anyway, I'm very happy for him. He got a full, you know, he's had a part-time job forever, but this is um, a full-time job. So it's, I think it's going to be really, a really good opportunity for him. I'm trying not to touch anything with my nails because they are still wet. And I'm gingerly holding the phone with the other hand, trying not to touch anything. What is this? I never put my nail polish information in the, in the videos for this channel. If you ever want to know what I'm wearing, for my nail polish just check out the other channel because i always put it in the description there this is like Le like Le i really need to find out how this is pronounced because i use it all the time it's from london town this is an enhanced color and the name is alexa let's dance and it's a really pretty kind of a fuchsia color this is just one coat and then i underneath that i have this orly base coat orly bonder rubberized base coat I have several base coats in there. I've I just kind of cycle through and use different ones. That's the one I'm using right now. Um, it's been a very, I have had a very busy week. Oh my God. And so of course, Sunday I went to uh, Albemarle. I ended up taking a, a trip down there to the marketplace, the antique store. That's the video I, I scheduled for tonight because I knew my dad was coming over and I needed, I needed a video to schedule. And I'm also making extra videos when, you know, on the weekends. I try to make an extra video when I can for my Vegas trip so I have something to publish while I'm gone. So I am just like a video generating machine right now. Not really, but I mean like in my spare time. Not that I really have any, but I'd have to just carve out some time here and there to try to make a video that I can save for when I'm gone on our trip. So you'll still get videos like normal. You aren't, you're not going to miss out on anything. But that does mean I have to make extras. See, the way it is right now, I already have to make at least two videos every weekend. Is that right, Sunday? Yeah, I try to do two. I, ideally, I try to do three. So I have one for Sunday night and then for Wednesday nights when Glenda the Good Witch and I watch um, Better Call Saul, which we're almost done with. Um, actually we had to get together this Monday night instead of Wednesday night because my dad was coming down, but he got his hearing aids. He had to go pick up his hearing aids and he was not going to be too far from here. I think he went, actually ended up going to Kernersville to pick them up, which isn't too far from Greensboro. So, um, he got his ear, hearing aids. He was wearing them and he said they've helped a lot. And he actually, I could tell a difference. Like he doesn't talk as loud now. You don't have to repeat yourself as much. It's, and he said they're really comfortable. He likes them. And I don't know a whole lot about hearing aids, but I know when my mom finally got hers, oh God, it took forever. I had been telling her for two freaking years that she needed to get her hearing checked and she refused to listen. And finally, out, out of the blue, she went one day on her own and got her hearing checked and then told me, you know, I have hearing loss. Like, no shit. I've been saying, I mean, I didn't say that, but I was thinking like, no shit, Sherlock. I've been telling you for two years. But she won't wear her hearing aids because the ones that she got took those little tiny batteries and she didn't want them, she didn't want the batteries to run out because she hates changing them. So she has her hearing aids, but she won't wear them. So you still have to yell at her for her to hear you. And then you have to repeat everything at least once. 
because she won't wear the damn hearing aids that she has. Anyway, my dad said the one that he, the ones that he has, you put them on this little thing and they charge like ear you know earbuds like you know just put them on there and they just charge no batteries which is awesome. So his don't his hearing aids hearing aids don't take batteries. Um, anyway, so he did get his hearing aids and he is he's doing great with them so far. Of course he just got them, but so far he said it, it's good. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, <laughs> I'm still working on being in one of the Roses sales circulars. I am still working on that because the person I was talking to at Roses, they were going to, so they work with a modeling agency. And uh, so he said the, the modeling agency will be in touch. Well, I didn't hear from anybody. So I waited about a week or so, a little over a week. So I contacted the person from Roses again, just, hey, just reaching out, haven't heard from anybody. So then he sent me a link. There's like a, a this modeling agency has this little portal thing that you have to submit. So I had to go in there and do like an app, an online application and it was really clunky and convoluted and I kept, it kept like crapping out on me. And then you had to verify you weren't a robot, which apparently all you need to prove you're not a, to be, all you need to do to prove you're not a robot is to click on pictures of a, a stoplight or a bicycle or something. And that makes you not a robot. I kind of feel like a robot could do that. But anyway, well, apparently I couldn't because I kept clicking on the damn stoplights and the bicycles and the buses or whatever they told me to click on. It was like, uh -uh. and then it would crap out and it was like, no, you're a robot. And then it would erase all of the information I had put in there. And then I'd have to start over. And I went through this multiple times. And then I get down to the bottom. Finally, I convinced it that I was not a damn robot. I must have clicked on the stoplights the right way all the pictures that had a stoplight in them or whatever it was. And then I get down there and it goes, okay, now upload your photos. What freaking photos? I don't, what? Why do I have to give you photos? Ah, oh, I don't have any photos. And this says, well, they have to be taken and no professional photos, preferably taken the day that you submit your application. Just use your smartphone. Here's a list of the photos that we need of you. And I'm like, I don't have any photos ready. You know, I'm on my lunch hour at work. I'm like, I don't have any photos for you, you little portal demon. I don't know. So there was no way to save the application. I had to close it out. Like, I just proved I wasn't a robot. But I didn't have the pictures. And you could not complete the process without the pictures. It wouldn't let you submit anything without them. So I was going to do it last night. And then I didn't feel like it because I went to this high cardio class and by the time I got home I was all sweaty and gross like I I don't feel like redoing my makeup and I, no I don't care so I got up early this morning fresh face and makeup and did the pictures they wanted like a full body picture they want a selfie with no smile a selfie with a smile a picture like three quarters of you then they need a picture of you in your bathing suit. Yes, it's totally legit. I, I know of this agency. It's it's fine. Um, so I just had this one piece bathing suit and I just had to have my son take the picture because it had to be like full, you know, like head to toe. And, you know, it said you don't wear anything. You don't have to wear anything revealing or anything like that. Just a basic one piece is fine. So I did that. And so I got it all in there. I got the picture. I got on there. But when I got to work early this morning so I could sit there. Okay, when I'm not a robot, here I answer all these questions. I'm not a robot. Put in the pictures. And then I got an invalid form submission. <laughs> the picture size, the file size for the pictures, it was too big. So I had to resize the pictures. I had to start all over. I had to start all over again. So I went through all this and finally it went through. So then I contacted the Roses person again and they got back to me because I told them, you know, I sent them a message and said, I've submitted everything to the modeling agency. And he said, I'll, I'm going to contact them and let them know that you've submitted everything and that we want to work with you and that we want you to be in our sales circular. So, you know, I will let you know, you know, I just want to make sure they know that you've submitted it and we'll see if they need anything else. And then we'll go from there. So, yay! I was thinking about it earlier today. Like, this is so stupid, but it makes me so happy. 
I want to be in a sales circular. Probably by the time I get around to it, it'll be like fall and winter stuff, but I don't give a shit. That's fine. I don't want to be in a damn bathing suit in a sales circular anyway. I'll just tell them, like, put me in a robe or a coat or a sweater and some leggings. I don't care. Let me do an awkward pose. Please let me do an awkward pose. I will do the best Rose's sales circular pose because I've been practicing. I'm really good at my awkward poses. I can't wait to use them. I cannot wait. <laughs> so I'm, I, this, this makes me irrationally happy. I'm just so excited. So it's in the works. Hopefully it's in the works. I'm trying. So that's good. Um, what else? Let's see. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, I don't have any idea what video I'm doing tomorrow. It's going to have to be something easy because I have a class tomorrow night and then I have to come home and make dinner and eat very, very, very fast. And then I have to come up here. Usually I eat while I'm cooking. I, I just nibble at whatever while I'm cooking. And I, it's very rare that I ever get to sit down and eat like a normal person. Because a lot of nights I have to come on up here and get a video done. And I don't really have time to sit down and eat like a person. I just, I eat standing up just as fast as I can. And then I run up here and I have to get started. Although lately it's been very noisy outside. There was a damn ice cream truck outside of my house the other night. It was Monday night and Glenda the Good Witch was here. And we were trying to watch Better Call Saul. And that freaking truck would not go away. It was going, it went down the street, came back up, playing like Christmas music. I'm like, what the hell? And it would not go away. I don't know. It was out there for like a half hour. Like, dude, you have got all the kids, okay? All the kids have come out. You know, motor away. Go find another neighborhood somewhere. It was out there for 30 freaking minutes. It would not go away. I was getting really annoyed because it was interfering with trying to watch TV. And it was just really annoying. Um, so, no, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know. What did we do? We did the Ipsy thing last night. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. I'll probably decide it when I get home and get up here sometimes i just decide it right before i start like ah screw it we're doing this i don't know i'm looking over there at all my possibilities and i'm not seeing anything that looks good i can't really think of anything i want to do and that's i don't like nights like that because i want to do something but i don't know what i want to do it's kind of like when you're hungry but you don't know what you want you keep looking in the refrigerator and like it's going to change somehow and i'm hungry but there's nothing here i want I can't even think of anything I could go get that I want. I, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I'm hungry. But nothing sounds good. I, I don't know. So then I just end up eating some handfuls of Fruit Loops out of the box and just going about my day. Mm, I don't know. I'll figure something out even if we just look at a magazine or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I have this idea for a video. And if I say it out loud, I'll have to actually do it. And a lot of times I have ideas for videos and I don't say it out loud. That way I'm not really committed to it. And if I decide not to do it, it's not a big deal. But here's here's the idea I had. Sorry, I had to sit up. My butt was going numb. That's the price you pay for sitting on the floor. Um, okay, so I had boobs outside yelling at me. I'm not going to let her in right now. I don't think. Anyway, okay. So I was going through my YouTube totes. I have these two big plastic totes in, in my room that have a bunch of YouTube stuff in them, like props and whatnot. I just keep it in there. I had more up in the attic, but it was up there for so long, and I didn't even look at it that I decided if it's been up here this long and I haven't needed it or even looked at it, I think it can go. So a whole lot of it went either to Goodwill or in the trash. Because um, <laughs> it was just stuff from years ago that I don't do anything with. So it was just taking up space in the attic. Anyway, the stuff in here is stuff that I might use maybe. So I was looking through there and I found the wig. I found this one wig. I have all my wigs in there and I found the wig for the grumpy librarian. And I thought, you know what would be funny? And this just occurred to me. I was looking at that wig and I thought, you know what would be funny? What if we took the grumpy librarian out of the library? Like she's still a librarian, but we, we put her somewhere else. And then it just occurred to me, oh my God, you know what would be funny? What if the, gr the grumpy librarian got a part-time job at a trampoline park 
or like a bounce house kind of place, a bouncy house place. And I started thinking, oh my God, the improv possibilities are endless for that. And I just, I started turning that idea over in my head and I was taking a shower just a minute ago and I was thinking about it like, oh my God, there could be kids coming into this trampoline park that she's encountered in the library and maybe she's had some funny run-ins with these kids. So I think I'm going to do it. And I was thinking, well... You know, I have some of those grippy socks that you have to buy when you go to the trampoline park. We have two or three of them here in Greensboro, and my kids, when they were younger, we used to go quite often, but anymore, they don't, they don't ever want to go anymore, but we used to go. And I thought it was fun. I kind of want to go again. Maybe I can get one of them to go with me to the trampoline park. I love the trampoline park. Have you ever, do you, it's all indoors, and you go in, um, I'm sure if you just, Look, if you're not familiar with it, I mean, you could probably look it up and see what, what it's like. But it's just trampolines, man. And lots of padding. And, you know, you could very easily crack your head. Just try not to do that. I actually broke my arm and dislocated my wrist on a trampoline when I was eight. So you want to be kind of careful because you can hurt yourself. Um, there, I'm sure I've told you the story. Actually, that, that summer, I broke both of my arms and dislocated both of my wrists. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Uh, two separate incidents. Um, and I, the second one happened almost exactly one week after I got the first cast off. I <laughs> did the same thing to the other arm. Yeah, it's a crazy summer. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I ended school with one arm in a cast. And I came back that fall with the other arm in a cast. It was really messed up. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um yeah, I love trampoline parks, so I thought it would be funny to put the grumpy librarian in there, and I guess the only props I have on hand right now are, I have some of the grippy socks still that we, because you have to buy them every time you go, so I would just save them and wash them and reuse them, so we didn't have to keep buying the little grippy socks you have to wear in there. So I had some, and my kids both had pairs, so I thought, well, you could use those as props for the, for the skit, and, um, yeah, so I thought that would be funny because we haven't done anything with the grumpy librarian in forever. It's not ASMR at all, but I also thought I, I will find a way to incorporate some of my new library books while I'm at it. Like maybe she'll take some with her to work on, which she totally wouldn't. I mean, that would be very impractical and kind of stupid, but, you know, we're going to suspend our disbelief for right now because it's just a skit and it isn't real. So you don't want to get too serious about it. But I was kind of thinking about after I get off work Friday, I've been going out and making videos in stores a lot lately just because I've that's what I felt like doing. But this Friday, I may come home and work on that. I'm kind of thinking about that. See, that way, I could, just, I could just get off work. I could come home. I could have a leisurely dinner. I could actually sit down and eat like a person and not have to eat really quick. And then, you know, I could just take my time, which would actually be good because, you know, the weather's been nice. People are out. But that means it's noisier in the evenings and it's kind of hard to make videos because just, you know, there's just noise of life going on outside. So it would be better to wait anyway. So I don't have to get in a huge hurry to do anything. I can just take my time. I have had this tickle in my throat. I have had this cough all evening and it sucks because the class I went to last night, we did a lot of floor exercises like ab exercises my abs are killing me today. I don't know. I, it was, it was really, it was really intense. So every time I cough, it hurts like hell because it's just my, my abs are so <laughs> sore. So I'm struggling. Okay. I used some of my spray, my cough suppressant spray, hoping that will help. I don't know what it is. I have just had this dry cough and this tickle. I mean, I have, I've had that for years. It's been really bad today. My doctor thinks it's reflux. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, I just wanted to tell you about the grumpy librarian idea. I see a lot of potential, and I really want to try to see what I can come up with for her to do working in a bounce house place, trampoline park type place. Um, i got to come up with a funny name for it, and I want to incorporate booze into it. I think I would call it something like the booze and bounce or bounce and booze or something it's gonna have an alcohol theme to it because trust me 
If you've ever had to take kids to one of these places, especially when they're small, alcohol would be much appreciated. Just don't drink and then try to bounce because that may not go so well. But anyway, if you have to go to a bouncy house and be there all day with a bunch of screaming kids, you're going to need um, Tylenol and liquor would be really good. But yeah, I feel the same way about Chuck E. Cheese and well, kids' birthday parties in general. Because <sighs> especially if you're an introvert, it's just way too much. If you're a highly sensitive person, it's just way too much going on. It's sensory overload, and after a while, I just want to run away. I really just want to get out of there. But, you know, the things you do for your kids, trust me, I, I don't mind. You know, so it's fine because, you know, they enjoy it and they have a good time, and that's all right. So, anyway, I, I'm going to get off of here because it's already at, like, 1030, but I wanted to let you know that I'm not deceased. I've been trying to make a video for y'all for a couple of days, but I just haven't. I don't know. By the time I got ready to do it last night. It was almost 1130 and I really had to go to bed. So I'm here tonight, but thank you so much for watching and for being here. Um, if I have any more updates on the roses sales circular, I will let you know. And if I get the grumpy librarian video done, I will probably, I am see Sunday nights. I try, you know, everybody comes looking for a new video on Sunday nights because they're either getting ready to go back to work the next day, they're going back to school, whatever it is. They're looking for a new video and they want something that's going to put them to sleep. So I'm thinking I might actually save the Grumpy Librarian for like Wednesday night when we're watching episodes. Um, Sunday nights, I try to do something a little bit extra nice for people who are trying to sleep so they can start their week off right. I do think about stuff like that. So I don't know what I'm doing for Sunday night yet, but... If I do the Grumpy Librarian video, I will save it, probably save that one for Wednesday. So, yay! Anyway, I wanted to tell you about it. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I think my nail polish is dry. I need to do one more coat and a top coat if I have time before I go to bed. This nail polish doesn't dry super fast, but I don't know. I'll see what I can do. I like the color, though. It's, it's, it's really, really pretty. It's a nice color. But thank you so much for being here. I really hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.